All right, so this is what I want to know. Anybody learn anything yesterday? Anything? Yes, I learned that too. <laughs> Oh, what'd you learn about Leonard? <laughs> Leonard is a really nice guy, but he's one of those touchy guys, right? <laughs> okay, what else did you, what else did you learn about Leonard? Oh, no, no, he was telling us about Albuquerque, New Mexico, learning a few things about accounting, you know, all his degrees and such, his Series 7s and such. Uh, here's what I recommend you do with Leonard. I would keep in touch with Leonard. I would keep in touch with Leonard because he's a great contact, right? You never know when you might need him for a resume reference, right? Keep, so somebody recommended that you put this on your resume. So another great thing about coming here and meeting Leonard is using him as a contact and keeping in touch with him. So you're not gonna inundate him with emails, but you're going to keep in touch with him every now and then because he could become a reference for you. And if you're going to be in accounting, that could be a great reference for you. If you're going to work for Moss Adams, if you're going to be in that part of the country, he might become a great reference. No, not for you, maybe not. <laughs> but um, what else did you learn? Did anybody else learn anything yesterday? that might impact your future? I'm glad I didn't have the mic when I was totally messing up the words. <laughs> <laughs> Being personally accountable. And so um, you? owning your own actions, owning everything that you do, um, not placing blame on others. So you own both your successes and your failures. And um, you don't, you know, throw it on anyone else when it looks bad for you. Right. How do you think that might have changed Tony Weiner's <laughs> actions? No, seriously, seriously. Okay, he did something stupid. We all do stupid things. But maybe had he on day two said, yeah, mm -hmm. I did that, might have ended that whole thing instead of dragging it out for three weeks. Right? It just makes it like such a bigger deal it, and instead of handling it right up front. And then, then it, it goes away because it's not interesting anymore. Exactly. I mean, he gave Letterman Conan three weeks of so much fodder, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where it could have just ended it three weeks. Yeah, I did it. I'm real, like Arnold Schwarzenegger ended his scandal so much quicker. Yeah. Right? So much smarter, right? So being accountable. Did you learn anything? Did anybody learn anything from the, the last two speakers, the um, interview people? What did you learn, April? Um, I just, not even, wow. Oh. No, no, I think, I think we need two Like she's beatboxing. I think we learned that. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, no, April, you and I are from the same mold. <laughs> That's totally valid. <laughs> um, I didn't even learn anything new so much. I just like refresh all those tips, like get in my head, like as we move into more like interview season and I'm moving in my last year of college. So have a lot more interviews and that type of thing coming up. It was nice to kind of say like, oh, right, like this is how you do this and that's what you should do and thank you notes and don't, you know, say the wrong company or spell someone's name wrong, that type of thing. I, I learned something from them. I, I think that you asked a question about wanting to transfer and, and I thought about, you know, being in your situation. And I thought that when she said, go and find somebody in the company and tell them, you know, that you want to want to leave, you want to go. And you had very, very valid reasons. It's not like you disliked anybody or, you know, you just wanted to move your family. And you wanted to be honest. And I thought, well, that was really good advice. You know, anybody could be in that situation. I could be in that situation. You know, maybe I want to move and I need to look for a new job. But to find somebody within the company and to be honest and sincere and transparent and open, and that is just really good advice in life for anyone in their career, is to find someone and talk to them honestly and openly. And that is just pretty good advice in your career, in any situation, is to just be open and honest. 
well, I learned something. And, the th and I thought the three-thing rule was good for me, too. <laughs> I have to agree. A uh, couple things from yesterday um, regarding the ethical job search. It actually was kind of funny when, when we knew we were going into that because we did an event in the spring on campus, and it was, like, mm -hmm. it was pretty much the same thing. So uh, I didn't necessarily – I did learn a few things from it that were kind of new that I hadn't heard. Um, but for the most part, it just kind of reaffirmed what we did. So it was, that was kind of nice getting to see that. Um, the other thing was uh, personally accountable with Linda. Um, that gave me a lot of ideas for stuff that we can do with our student chapter because that's not really anything we've ever done before. So um, I, and personal accountability in this day and age is huge because nobody wants to take responsibility for anything. Um, everybody likes to finger point. So um, I think that's something that would be a really good idea to do on campus. Uh, personal accountability is something that I have preached to my children because when you become accountable, it's really hard to get mad. So my children have learned to say, I'm sorry, Mom, and it just stops you. You know, you know why did you do that? Well, I'm really sorry, Mom. So you're just like, okay, there you go. <laughs> just, it just ends. So when you take ownership for something, it really kind of ends the conversation in a lot of ways. So, I'll remember that next time I mess up at work. I'm sorry, Lisa. You do that all the time. <laughs> oh. I already know that trick. I think we're ready to get started, unless anyone's got any more comments about yesterday.